My Weirdest School, Book Number Twelve. Miss Hall is a Goofball, written by Dan Gutman, pictures by Jim Pellot. Chapter Ten: Pepper Poppers and Turbo Tomatoes. Now the Veggie Haters Club was just me and Alexia. Everybody else had joined the ranks of the plant eaters. This was the worst thing to happen since TV turn off week. The next day at lunch, Alexia and I sat at our own table in the corner. We were both feeling sad. I didn't even enjoy my sloppy Joe. Carnivores. Shouted my ex friends at the other table. Herbivores, Alexia and I shouted back. Miss Hall had a big smile on her face as she roller skated around the vomitorium with a big cardboard box. Who wants snacks? She hollered. We do! Shouted all the plant eaters. Miss Hall was tossing out little bags of stuff. Then she got to our table. How about you two? She asked. Would you like a snack doll face? No, thank you. I said politely. I don't eat veggies. Oh, these aren't veggie snacks, Miss Hall replied. These are junk food snacks. Junk food snacks? Asked Alexia. Miss Hall reached into the box she had been carrying and pulled out a bag. It looked like a bag of potato chips. It said "kale crunchies" on it, and there was a picture of a kangaroo. Hmm, those look good, Alexia said. Don't even think about it, I told her. That kangaroo is cute. Alexia said, and the chips look kind of like junk food. They're cool ranch flavored," said Miss Hall. "You'll love 'em. It's a chick," I told Alexia. "They just made those veggies look like junk food to get us to eat them. Don't be fooled." Miss Hall reached into the box. "Let's see," she said, going through the other snacks. I've got X-ray carrots, turbo tomatoes, broccoli bombs, cool cucumbers, pepper poppers, mean green bean machines, Mississippi munchies, and zucchini zambonis. Hmm," said Alexia. "I'll tell you what," said Miss Hall. "I'll give each of you a dollar if you just take one bite." One little bite. That's not fair. I told Miss Hall. That's a bribe. Yes, it is. Miss Hall replied. I'm so desperate that I'll bribe you kids to eat veggies. Oh yeah, I said. Well, we wouldn't eat a veggie if you paid us a million dollars, right, Alexia? You'll give me a dollar if I take one bite. Asked Alexia, "One little nibble," said Miss Hall. "I can use the dollar to buy candy," said Alexia. "Don't do it," I told her. Miss Hall took a dollar from her pocket and dangled it in front of Alexia's face. Alexia took the bag of Cool Ranch Kale Crunchies. She ripped it open. Then she put a chip in her mouth. No, Miss Hall smiled. Chapter Eleven, Rebel Without a Cause. Well, that was that. All my friends had abandoned me. There was only one person left in the Veggie Haters Club. Me. Who needs the rest of those plant eaters anyway? Let 'em eat their veggies, I say. Nobody's gonna tell me what to put in my mouth. 
The next morning, in Mr. Cooper's class, we pledged the allegiance and did our word of the day. Then we had math. Then we had social studies. I was starting to get hungry for lunch. Then we had phys ed. After that, we had reading. Isn't it time for lunch yet? I asked Mr. Cooper. Lunch is going to be a little later today, he told me. Then we had science. Then we had spelling. My stomach was starting to rumble. I looked at the clock. It was after one. We usually eat at twelve o'clock. Can we go to lunch now? I asked Mr. Cooper. Soon he replied. Then we had a library. Then we had a computer class. It was almost two o'clock. Soon it would be time for dismissal. I was starving. I didn't know how long I could hold out without food. I was starting to feel sleepy. I thought I might pass out right there at my desk. Lunch time, Mr. Cooper announced. Finally, I said, grabbing my lunchbox. We pringled up and walked a million hundred miles to the vomitorium. When we got there, I staggered over to a table in the corner, all by myself. Need food, I moaned. Going to die. Miss Hall was walking around with a bowl filled with snappies. Who wants veggies? She shouted. I do. All the plant eaters were yelling. No thanks, I said. I have a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. That's when the weirdest thing in the history of the world happened. I opened my lunchbox. Well, that's not the weird part. I opened my lunchbox every day. The weird part was what happened when I looked inside my lunchbox. My peanut butter and jelly sandwich was missing. No, this was the worst thing to happen since National Poetry Month. I wanted to run away to Antarctica and go live with the penguins. I fell off my chair and started crawling across the floor. Need food? I groaned. So hungry, I'm starving. Mmm, these snappies are really good, AJ," said Ryan. "Yeah, you should try 'em," said Michael. "Come on, dollface," said Miss Hall. "Give peas a chance." Then she started singing, and soon everybody in the vomitorium began singing with her. All we are saying is give peas a chance. Miss Hall got down on her hands and knees, putting her face right next to mine. "You know you want it, doll face," she whispered, holding a snappy a few inches from my mouth. "You want it bad." I was so hungry. I didn't know what to say. I didn't know what to do. I was faced with the hardest decision of my life. Everybody in the vomitorium was looking at me. Okay, okay, I shouted. You win. I opened my mouth. Miss Hall put the snappy in my mouth. I chewed it. I swallowed it. It was totally silent in the vomitorium. Everybody was on the edge of their seats. Well, not really. They were just sitting in the middle of them, like always. But there was electricity in the air. Well, not exactly. If there was electricity in the air, we would all have been electrocuted. But it was really exciting. So said, Miss Hall. What do you think, doll face? Not bad, I replied. Can I have another one? Well, that's pretty much what happened. I guess I'm a plant eater now.
Maybe I'll speak to my old friends in the Veggie Haters Club again. Maybe Miss Hall will stop calling me Dollface. Maybe she'll stop running dishwashers and bringing home the bacon instead of taking candy from babies and eating crows. Maybe Miss Lagrange is locked up in the freezer. Maybe we'll find out what the mystery meat is. Maybe beasts will come to the city. Maybe we'll have to eat vinkies and food made out of toes. Maybe they'll start selling peppers with toys in them and portable meats in a can. Maybe Ms. Hall will stop juggling knives and tossing carrot slices into her hat. Maybe cavemen will start eating Twinkies. Maybe Ryan and I will dig a hole to China so we can get some shrimp lo mein. Maybe all the boys will have to sleep on cots. Maybe I'll win tickets to Disneyland. Maybe they'll let us ride dirt bikes in the all-purpose room. Maybe Ms. Hall will get out of her pickle, clean the egg off her face, and learn how to cut the mustard so she doesn't have to work in a salt mine anymore. But it won't be easy.